record this video, we're just about to enter the fourth quarter of 2021. And it struck me this past week that I had some major goals that have not been met. As a matter of fact, I have one that has been sitting there in front of me waiting to be accomplished since um, summer, July, let's say August of 2020. So it's been a year and I said to myself, Nina, there is no way that you are going into another new year, 2022, with this project incomplete. It needs to get off your desk. But the main reason that I felt so adamantly about getting this project done is that it is blocking me from doing the things that are more aligned with who I am, where I'm going, what I want to accomplish now and into 2022. So what I want to do today is to encourage you to actually take some action to complete whatever projects are incomplete for you that have been there too long and that are blocking you from doing the things that feed your soul and that are your life's work and your way to contribute and that you feel are really your road to into the future, what you, how you want to show up and what you want to be doing in the future. So that's how I felt about this project. It's a book project. It's been around for way too long. Um, I have another book project partially started that is one that I really feel moves me into doing the kind of work I want to do in the world and have always wanted to do in the world. And so this other book I feel is super important and a great idea and would be a big contribution, but um, not quite as aligned with where I'm going anymore. So I really want to finish it and know that it's complete. You know, it's a little bit like at school where you got an incomplete. <laughs> I want to know it's complete and that I can move on. I have graduated and can move on. It really feels like it's blocking my energy. And so I want you to ask yourself what projects you have that are incomplete and that are blocking your energy to move forward towards what it is you really want to be doing and the things that are aligned with who you are, who you want to be, and the things that feed your soul. So what I would suggest is that you make a list of all your major projects. And, you know, I'm thinking more work-related here, but they could be any kinds of projects. Um, especially if they're projects that, again, are blocking you. So let's just stick with a list of projects. What are your main projects that are in front of you that are not yet complete? Then I want you to go through and I want you to circle the ones that, or put a star next to the ones that you feel are not as aligned with who you are now or who you want to be. Um, they don't feel exciting to you anymore. They don't, uh, you know, float your boat. <laughs> um, put a star or circle those or highlight them in some way. Then I want you to look at those and ask yourself which ones you really feel the need to complete in order to move on and which ones can be ditched. Because you know what? I'm horrible at this, but one of the best things you can do is decide to quit something in order to move forward towards the things you really want to do. So which ones could you quit on? Could you just throw in the trash or just say, I'm not doing this now. Maybe you just move it into the future. So it's another time when maybe you will do that project, right? So you don't have to, to dump it all together if you feel like maybe in the future you might want to do it. But if it's not helping you right now, if it's not something you want to do right now, if it doesn't feed your soul, let it go for now, okay? Or for good, okay? So now you're left with a few other projects that are the ones that you feel are aligned or are blocking you from moving forward that you do want to do, you, you want to get them done. Now is the time to sit down and make a plan for completing those. Which ones could you complete before the end of the year? Which ones do you need more time to complete? Give them a time frame. But primarily what I want you to do is to pick one or two projects that you can get off your plate, meaning you can finish them. 
So like this book I'm working on, I know, you know, I've got, I'm just finishing up some new sample chapters. I am revamping, um, I'm really just updating at this point the book proposal, and then it's it's gone from, from my hands. It's, I, I give it to God, right? I give it to, to the universe to figure out whether this book is meant to be brought into the world. But it'll be, I will have done my part, okay? So that's what I want for you, is to look at some projects and say, which ones can I complete now? Like, which could I complete in 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, so that I go into the new year without this, um, without this project over my head, right? Then I want you to make a list of the, pro look at all your projects and see whether any of them on there are the ones you really wanna be focused on, because those are the ones you wanna be doing come the new year or maybe even right now, or when you finish these other projects. Um, those are the ones you wanna get on your calendar, ASAP, but at least starting in January. But again, which, make sure that you're very clear on which projects are blocking your energy, not allowing you to be in alignment with the work you wanna do in the world, because those are the ones you really need to either ditch or you need to get finished, okay? Because that's gonna open you up to move towards whatever is meant for you to be doing. It's gonna open you up to do your life's work. If these projects are not your life's work, either don't do them or get them done so you can do your life's work. If they're not feeding your soul, either complete them or take them off the to-do list and move on to the ones that are. That's what I'm doing. I know that, <clears throat> that I'm blocking my energy um, by not working on the other projects, like this other book that I have that I want to be working on. I know that that's blocking my energy. And interestingly, I was in a coaching session and, and that was exactly what the coach said to me was, Nina, you know, can you get this one project done? Because I think when you are working on this other book project, you will be so aligned with who you want to be, where you want to go, your life's work, um, your energy will just shift and everything will begin to be different. And I just got this intuitive hit and went, oh, that is so true. And that's why I'm sharing this with you because it is so true. Get the stuff that is not helping you get where you wanna go or show up the way you wanna show up. Get it off your desk and focus your time and attention on the projects that are aligned with who you wanna be, uh, with where you're going, with the contribution you wanna make in the world, with your soul's purpose. Um, you know, if it's, if, it, if it's a project that's aligned with your soul's purpose, it's gonna feed your soul. And you're gonna feel great doing it and that's gonna open you up to the flow of all kinds of good things. So that's what I'm doing. I've spent all weekend working on, a, on this book project and I'm gonna have it done by the end of the month and out the door. And uh, then I'm gonna focus on the things that do feed my soul, that are aligned with who I'm becoming, who I wanna be. And I'm gonna watch the magic happen. That's what I'd like for you too. I'm Nina Amir. I'm the Inspiration to Creation Coach. I'm a certified high performance coach. I also am an intuitive coach and offer my own brand of inspired results coaching. Um, I'm the founder of the Inspired Creator Community. The link for that is above. That's where I offer both in, uh, high performance coaching, personal growth, and inspired results coaching, spiritual growth. So if that interests you, if you would like to step into being your best self and uh, fulfilling your purpose, consider joining the Inspired Creator com community, become an Inspired Creator. And uh, that's it for today. So until I talk to you next time, go out there and achieve more inspired results. Mm -hmm.